What is a common belief about success that you have to be very careful of or else you could waste many years of your life? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In a previous tip, I talked to you about being careful as a presenter when sharing information that you haven't verified. It can hurt your credibility. Well, this is a corollary of that. It's a kind of a sister idea. And that is this concept that I've been reading about for years that says if you want to become a master in any endeavor, invest 10,000 hours of your time. I've done some research on this specific topic and across many lines, books I've read, research papers, that number does seem to be true. If you want to be a master at any skill, public speaking, golfing, sales, you got to give it 10,000 or more hours. However, there's one piece of advice missing with this. Make sure you're practicing the right thing for 10,000 hours. This reminds me of an old saying from the sales world. I picked this up from one of my earliest sales managers. He said, Michael, I've met so many salespeople over the years, and a lot of them will say something to me like, Ted, I've been selling for 25 years. I've got 25 years of experience. What I discovered about a lot of these salespeople is that they had one year of experience that they had repeated 25 times. They kept doing the wrong things over and over. They never achieved mastery. They did just enough to stay in business, but never enough to become the expert, the leader in their fields. I think that's a perfect example of what I'm talking about here. If you want to be a master, don't just put in the time. Make sure you've got the right mentors. I'm often complimented on my coaching skills, and I appreciate that from when people give me that feedback. What I also tell them is I have the best mentors in the world. They saved me so much time of, of trial and error learning. They taught me what to look for in a speech, how it's delivered, how it's created, even the mindset of my clients. That's helped me become seen as an expert in my field. They laid down the path. I followed it, I put in the time, and that's why I've been able to kind of fall in their wake, to use an old boating term. If you want to be successful, definitely put in the time. Make sure you've got the right mentors who are taking you down the right road. Otherwise, you will have spent 10,000 hours doing the wrong thing, and you can't get that time back. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.